Are you ready for some bestsellers of the month? That's what today's video is gonna be about. I've got my top 10-ish, I think there's 10 bestsellers. I try to do about 10. Sometimes I do one or two extra. Uh, little bonuses that never hurt anybody. So I've got some 10 of the best-selling products that you guys are loving. I always do favorites and bestsellers every single month. Favorites are my favorites and my top picks and bestsellers are yours. I always look forward to kind of seeing this kind of compile and I will say, this month is a whole vibe, you guys, and I can see why we're besties because I'm just loving everything you guys pick. So first, I wanna go and talk about uh, the earrings that I'm wearing before I forget because that happens quite often where I mean to talk about what I'm wearing and I just completely forget to. These totally made bestsellers of the month. These are my David Yurman hoop earrings and I talk about hoop earrings often. I'm a huge fan of hoop earrings and I really have fallen in love with them over the last, I don't know, maybe two-ish years. I kind of stayed away from them. I wasn't sure it's my vibe. It's totally my vibe and I'm obsessed. And I have found some luxury. I think I found two pair of more like expensive hoop earrings that I'm obsessed with. And these right now I would say are my number one and probably will always be my number one to be to be honest. They are just such a classic pair. They are two toned. So you've got that traditional David Yurman rope detail in the sterling silver with that overlay of gold on top and the size is amazing. You can see they're super, super lightweight. If you are looking to gift something for somebody, something special, like obviously these are a little bit pricey, they're Yurman, so they're like, I can't remember if these are 1200 or 1800, but they're definitely over a thousand dollars. So they're pricey, they're pricey, don't get me wrong. But if you're looking for something for a spouse, ladies, send this video to your hubbies or your significant others because these are really, really a beautiful gift. I literally reach for them almost every day. And the days I don't wear them, I probably reached for them. And I'm like, no, I wear them too much. Wear something else, Amanda. But I literally could wear these every single day, whether I'm casual, whether I'm dressy, I am just obsessed. So I had to mention these. I just really, really love them. I love them. I just think they're so classic, so elegant, um, and just so much fun. So yes, these were definitely one of the top sellers of the month. We had three different bestsellers in the beauty category, and it's very possible this was a bestseller last month. I can't remember. I feel like I have been talking about this little perfume discovery kit for two months straight, but honestly, it is such an amazing buy. If you've ever, ever been interested in this brand, um, I'm not gonna pronounce it because I'm gonna butcher it, but you guys have been calling it MFK, so I guess that's kind of the abbreviation for it. Um, these perfumes are very expensive. <laughs> They're very, very expensive. Um, and so it's really difficult to kind of just dive in and buy a full bottle like right off the bat because they're so expensive. This is a really, really good way to introduce yourself to the brand. You get eight, eight of their bestsellers. Yes, you get the uh, Rouge 540 and the Rouge 540 extract. I'm also kind of obsessed with the gentle fluidity, both in silver as well as gold. Um, you get the gold here. I do have both though. I love them as well. So this is a really good way to kind of introduce yourself to the brand. It's only 55 bucks. You get to try eight of their fragrances. I would say you get about a week's worth of um, maybe a little bit more. I'm a little heavy handed when it comes to perfume. I'm okay with that. Um, but yes, this is a bestseller as well. And I'm so glad that you guys can continue to buy this because it's just such a great product. And then this under eye brightness stick was also a really really good uh, hot seller this month as well um, I shared it in a stories don't be afraid of the blue it does not come up blue um, I don't know if it'll come up on camera but you can kind of just see it just adds a little sheen a little brightness under that eye area and it has a cooling effect so whether you are gonna put makeup on like a no makeup day um, or, or you're um, I think I said that backwards but whether you're putting makeup on or not putting this under your eye is really, really beautiful because it adds that little glow underneath the eye, even for no makeup days, but then you just put it on before you put your concealer on and it adds that, not only that hydration, not only that cooling effect, but also that little brightening effect underneath it. It says uh, cooling and brightening eye balm. I really, really love this and I try to remember. I used to be so good at making sure to wear this every single day. I forget every once in a while, but I do really, really love it. And the last beauty product that I wanna mention is is my ice roller. I love this ice roller. If you do not have an ice roller yet, trust me, you need one. I swear, when I wake up the next morning and I'm puffy because of allergies, ice roller. If I wake up the next morning and I'm just like a little swollen because I ate Chinese food for dinner, 
ice roller. If I woke up with a headache, ice roller. If I woke up and my skin is a little bit dehydrated, ice roller. Like I'm not even kidding. This thing is amazing. And it's like 30 bucks, you guys. If you have a beauty junkie in your life, or even if that beauty junkie is you, you need an ice roller. It just, I, I can't put it on my face because it's gonna mess up my makeup, but I just, oh, I love, love, love it. I just do it everywhere. I do it underneath my eyes. I do it on my forehead. It helps with a headache. Um, and I just notice a huge difference when I use it and it just feels amazing. So there's so many things that this does. Puffiness, inflammation, it helps me with my headaches and allergies. It helps me with my hydration. I like to do my entire skincare routine and then do this over all of my skincare and it just, my skincare just like, I just feel like it gets all deep up inside and just oh, it's so, so good. If I could, I would use this every day if I just had time, but I don't. I use this, I would say once or twice a week and I love it. Let's go and dive into the fashion and you went in when it comes to fashion this month and picked so many amazing things. So the first thing that I wanna talk about was a bestseller and it is the YSL suede belt that I added to my collection not too long ago literally perfection for fall. I will pop on some pictures of me wearing it. I actually found it in a skinnier version and I want it so badly. I will link both of them down below. But if you're looking for a good way to add luxury accessories, I always recommend a belt. And this one to me is perfection. I personally feel like the suede is a little bit more fall, winter. Not that you can't wear it year round because you can depending on the style and the way you style it, right? Like boho works, like there's certainly styles that works for sure, but they also have this in leather option. So if you're looking for something a little bit more year round friendly, um, that might be the way to go. Either way, uh, it's just an amazing belt and I highly, highly recommend this. So I'm so glad you guys love this one too. My Tory Burch sneakers were another hot seller of the month. These are so much fun. They're kind of like a bowling shoe, track shoe, throwback kind of hybrid situation happening. Love these. I ended up going up half a size in these. I'm pretty sure. I don't know why I'm second guessing that now, um, but I'm pretty sure I went up. Yes, I went up half a size in these. Um, they also come in like a navy color, but I just thought this neutral was so, so good. They are really, really comfortable. I made them wear their slip-ons now, so I don't actually tie them. I just like that look better, especially for like styled shoes. I just like that whole look better. Um, but I really like these. So if you're looking for a pair of sneakers and you don't want to go like crazy outrageous, you know, Golden Goose, p 448 they're kind of pricey. Um, I really, really like these. And I think they're a beautiful, beautiful like silhouette. And like I said, really, really comfortable. I would just recommend going up half a size. My Chloe Susanna boots were also a bestseller this month. And I can see why. These are definitely a year round boot. I feel like they can be styled with dresses and skirts, especially depending on your specific style. But um, I love them, especially in the fall and winter. If you're looking for a very stylish, like statement boot that you could wear year after year, right? Like these are a class, even though they're a statement piece for sure, they're definitely a classic luxury shoe. Um, I've had these for, I don't know, maybe three years, maybe, I, yeah, about three years. I added these, a year ago, two years ago. I think I've, I've either had these for three or four years and I've had these for two years, I think. And I still love them to this day. I actually do plan on getting another color eventually, maybe like a taupe color, gray kind of color, um, like a lighter neutral, but I really, really love these. Yes, they are pricey, but they are a shoe that you can wear not only year round, but you can literally pull out year after year and not feel like they're too, like, too trendy or anything like that. They are a very stylish, like luxury shoe that I just feel like makes a statement. And who doesn't love a good statement shoe? If you're gonna spend a lot of money on shoes like who doesn't want them to kind of make a statement like let's be honest and I feel like these totally totally do that if you are looking for just a classic pea coat I highly recommend this one it is super super affordable like 30 40 dollars um, comes in a few different colors I actually have it in two colors I have it in this color and I have it in a green color and it is just a classic classic peacoat style um, i did go up to a medium i think it runs a little bit small in the like chest area so i went up to a medium but i also can wear this very comfortably with thicker sweaters even hoodies underneath it so just keep that in mind but i do love this if you're looking for an affordable coat you don't maybe live in a colder climate so you just want something super affordable classic that you can wear year after year i definitely recommend this one the price is amazing 
Y'all know that I am blazer obsessed. I will pop on a picture of me wearing this like pink tweed blazer. I actually wore this for like breast cancer awareness month and y'all have loved it since the day that I shared it. It is such a beautiful classic blazer, but in this stunning like high quality pink tweed material love the gold detailed button it is just such a like classic with a twist blazer if you like blazers like me this is a really fun way to add a classic silhouette but in a fun pop-up color that you can kind of pull out every once in a while grab a little bit of attention i just love this and the quality of it is amazing and the last bestseller of the month is the burberry cardigan that you guys cannot stop talking about i accidentally added this to a thumbnail in a video last month and so many of you guys were bummed the second that I saw it I fixed the thumbnail but I received several messages saying where's the Burberry cardigan where is it at that's what I wanted to see I'm so sorry I was actually working on multiple videos at a time like at that time and when I made the thumbnail for some reason I thought it was in that particular video it wasn't um, and I just had made like a little mistake but it is a bestseller this month you guys have loved it this is a splurge you guys I know that but when it comes to quality this is a piece that I'm gonna be able to have legit for the rest of my life when I feel the quality of this piece like I don't have anything in my closet like it quality wise like it is so beautiful it is this beautiful like cashmere wool blend it's not itchy to me at all but if you have any sensitivities to wool it may not work for you I do but only at a certain percentage I don't know what that percentage is I do get itchy but it has to be a certain percentage and I do not get that with this one this one is just so soft to me but like thicker soft do you ever actually the sweater that I'm wearing is cashmere which by the way I love this sweater as well the sweater that I'm wearing is cashmere and this is a like very very high quality cashmere um, but it is a light like light kind of uh, lightweight sweater cashmere it's super super soft and like buttery soft and lightweight whereas this one is a little bit more of a substantial cashmere so even though I feel like they're both very very high quality cashmeres they're two different weights like this is a very light um a lighter cashmere very very soft and this one is a very high quality like thicker cashmere um more like a medium weight I would say this is like a lightweight this is like a medium weight um so I love this if you're wanting to add a little bit more like ready to wear pieces to your wardrobe I have slowly started adding a few more to mine um, this is a really really good way to do it it's Burberry it's classic you this check will never go out of style um, this particular silhouette will never go out of style so yes it is pricey but if you take care of it, it is unfortunately dry clean only if you do take care of it though you're gonna be able to have it forever and you can even pass this down I could see I could totally see like even like you know, passing this down and someone else wearing this in 20, 50 years and be like, oh, look at that vintage Burberry. Like, I don't know. I just feel like it's so fabulous. I really, really, really just love this piece. And sorry about the mistake in last month's video. I don't know. I don't remember what video it was, but I know some of you guys were very disappointed. I do apologize for that. But I'm so glad this made it to the best sellers. You guys have been loving it ever since I have been sharing it and wearing it. And I will pop on a picture of me wearing it as well. So that is it, you guys, your top 10 bestsellers of the month. As always, everything will be linked down below in the info box in the order that I share it. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. Please stick around, hit that subscribe button. I do fashion, luxury, lifestyle videos here. If you wanna see more, I will pop on a couple of my other videos. Watch those before you head out and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.